Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we completed the registration part. In this class, I am going to teach the view members part, right? Uh, when the members register on the system, uh, then we will be able to see the member details of it. If you click the view members link, it will be shown the result, okay? So what I am going to do is here, go back to my project, right? So here the header.php. Here we have to set this one as a member member.php uh, okay member right we will be able to view the member details right so the same thing control c to copy select here right click new file paste it over here enter here so we have created the new page i'm going to create the new page okay uh, so member page so what i'm going to do is here uh, here this is a page just copy and paste it over here Right. This is a page I have created. I'm going to create this page. Okay. Right. This is all the stuff are there. This is the page I'm going to create. Right. Okay. Right. Now here, first what I did here is here. This is the all the Bootstrap plugin I have attached here. After that, this is the uh, include adder.ph page. This is a navigation bar. Okay. I'm attached the navigation bar over here. Okay. After that, we have a tables. This is a simple tables. Okay, this is the, how many t uh, table uh, field consists. Okay, uh, how many columns it, it will be consistent. We have to specify over here, right? So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet. So we have specify eight feet. Now I need to display the data look like this. Okay, member name, member. Uh, member number, member name, uh, NIC, gender, all the details uh, need to be displayed look like this. So here, what I did here is we first we have to specify the columns, right? Okay, all right. So eight columns here, here, they are. So what, this is the table, the data should be displayed. Only the table there, this form, uh, this page consists of only the table, right? This table, is a, this is the J table, right? So you can get it here, there, here. You go to the uh, sorry, not not J table, data table. You just go to the respective website. You will be able to download the J table plugins. Okay, I already included in my Bola component folder. You don't worry about that. I already uh, added all the stuff, right? Relevant plugin, all the uh, Bootstrap plugins I added. Don't worry about uh, about that. You must know about this one. The data table is getting from where. Okay, most uh, flag is getting from where? jQuery confirm box getting from where? Okay, this all the stuff you have to learn first. Okay, I simply all the plugins I have downloaded it into the put into the one folder called uh, Bola component. But uh, if I, I just download and put it put it here, but you don't know where I, where I getting from this all the stuff. I am getting from this online. Okay, all the stuff, right? All the stuff you can get in from online here. Okay, this is all the stuff I'm getting from. This is the you can you just you are using this is the online. Okay, here like this. Okay. Now let's back to our code part. Right. Now here I have added all the libraries over here. Right. Uh, JSON validate dot min dot js. This is the J table min dot js I have added. The CDN link I have just provided this CDN link. This one, okay. I just put it here, uh, and here this is a booster. Uh, the CSS styles, CSS style also CDN. I have put it here. This is CDN. Okay, I have put it here, right? Uh, this is the update one. Okay, so that I have uh, put it the latest one over here. Just copy this, uh, these two files, right? Uh, JS, uh, CSS file as well as a JS file. Okay, this CSS file I include inside the tag. JS file I have, I have include inside the body tag. Here, script. I have a uh, call it as script here. Okay, this plugin, right? After that, we have to write the script. So here, the same thing. This one we no need it. Right? Only the is a product. So I have just here called as member. So member, member. This is a function name, right? When the function is ready, where when the form is loaded, this member function get called. So what you return inside the member function, it will be load the data according to the 
what uh, what did you write inside the member uh, member function right so i need to load all the member details okay that is the thing i does in the member function right first this is the table uh, tbl projects right uh, data, uh, data table fn destroy what this method does is if there are any existing record available it will be destroy and clear and it will be refreshing okay so here uh, first we have to check whether the table names are correct or not tbl project it will be correct after that we have to scroll this is scroll bar you can see here this scroll you can just scroll okay scroll okay so here all the columns what is the column you have to specify okay this is a member name this headings we have given that here this is one the title this is a data this data is coming from the uh, this page okay this page okay here this page okay so all members page sorry here we have to change it here all members page okay so i have to create the all members dot j page okay so right click new file and this is all members page so i what i'm going to do is you go to the here we have to all members i get them right i just copy and paste it over here right all members page first i have to establish a database connection the database connection come uh, the data the database connected here db dot dot ph page i already written the uh, database connection right after we have to create the statement variable here we have to communicate with the uh, this is a database after that we have to write the prepare statement so here okay this is a pdo format right so select member id member name this all the columns are in our database right okay here all things member id phone number this all from members table so this all the member details are be loaded from this particular table member table so this loaded data we getting getting as a bind results format like this is a binding result format right after that we have right if statement is executed we have to send into this data as a json format so we have to return like this we have to send in the data as a json format we have to write like this we have to create the array like this array this is the key this is the value this is the key this is the value key value okay we have set like this key and value we have set like this like a, a, a json format okay so you have write echo J, uh, json encode output if you are sending the output it is coming like a json format right so let's uh go to the member Okay, here so we have if you check through it right click impact console uh, you nothing to see here what i am going to do is here we have to write console dot log here we have to write this one data Here, here. So uh, I haven't put in the page here. Name it as member. Here the data is uh, coming like this. If you have got the impact, here, here. That's that's the thing. That's the purpose of console dot log does. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, data is coming from which page? All member dot PHP page. All member dot PHP page. So we have set member name, name, NIC name. This, this all the, the this all the data we have set into here. Member ID, member na name, NIC number like this. We have to set into the key here, key value here. So what I did here is back to our member dot page. What what we have set at here the name, the same name. We have to put it here to get the data. Then only it will be work. the same name we are getting. Here. Okay, you can check through the. Uh, console okay how the data will be displayed this is the key this is the value your key the set the, this all the key value you are set at here what's the key value you have put it here the same name you have put the all the data will be loaded here ac columns this columns the, the this all the columns this columns it is the data will be showing that's the stuff here does okay if there is any error on that table whether the database connection or the json error something like that it will show the error below like this 
with a simple code we have written to show you. After done this function, we have to We are called here. This is a member table. Member, member. This also member. Right. After done the stuff, stuff what happens is uh, it will be loaded. Right. So here, when the page is the member page is loaded, it will be shown the output like this. Here, yeah. it's working so perfectly. Okay. Now uh, we completed we completed the member details. In my next class, I will be showing the report uh, the uh, index dot index dot page page. Uh, it will be show the if, if uh, activated and deactivated member. If the member, uh, if the member uh, payment date is finished, uh, finish means if the members expired, uh, the notification will be displayed. You have to pay. The payment details will be displayed. Okay, if the uh, payment uh, date is exit. Okay, the if the payment date is expired. Notification need to be displayed. We will be see in my next tutorial. I uh, will be catch it in soon. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anything. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.